So having a look at a mod, Zombie Walkers Resident Evil style. Now, from my understanding with this, it's it's not made by the, the guy who made the original Zombie Walkers, but I believe it's like, um, probably, I think most of the, the code is the same or something, or I'm um, just not sure on that, that one yet. I can't exactly find a lot of information about that. Um, although with the description of it, it does perhaps say it's um, or ba uh, yeah, mod based on the essentially the original Zombie Walkers. So yeah, um, different person, but very similar. So you do still get a holo tape. Uh, we over here at Jamaica Plain at the moment. Um, because it does say there, so, um, you test out the next-gen updates, there is a holotape, happy 4th of Ju uh, happy 4th, travel to Jamaica Plain to test out the mod based on work by Joe, so, yeah, that's the one who made the original one, so, yeah, Zombie Walker setting, perhaps the same as the old one, but, um, what would it be? Essentially, I say it's like the mechanics are pretty much all the same, but it's just stuff slightly different. You can see obviously everything there. Um, so let's have a look. So zombie settings. So that's... I believe that's the same. I can't exactly remember, but... Um, okay, so it already is on random. Health. Ooh, 100. We'll do it for 200 just, just because. Damage... I'll keep that at that. What's that one? Um, determines how much I experience will be there. Do a hundred. Ooh, legendary chance. This will be interesting. Uh, glowing zombies will spawn instead of normal zombies. Okay. Enable loot, definitely. Bite enabled. Uh, whether or not bite animation are enabled causes knockdown. I believe the... So the uh, original Zombie Walker mod had uh, three options. Infection, uh, same thing for that. I believe that one had a survival mode option. Uh, had a change effect the player on hit. That's, I think, about all the same. Spawn replacement, if enabled, allows the replacement uh, for animals, creatures, active zombie, basically. Um... Mm, so, yeah, I believe that's... Uh, I'm not 100% sure. I, I think that's the same. Plays corpses. Or, we'll do both. Oh, yeah, that is enabled. Fresh all the same. Extra spawns. Enable that. Um, hmm... Enabled extra zombies will spawn daily from existing markers in game. Zombies will not spawn in cities, settlements, or internal cells. Cap on the number of number of zombies to allow loading areas. Uh, do two hundred? Why not? Spawn point limit. Cap on the amount of uh, number of zombies allowed to spawn in each area. I believe, as is the original one, would allow for a whole lot more. Max zombies possibly spawn each spawn point each day, 10. So yeah, there's a lot less. I could do a comparison, but I'm not, as I'm just going to go over this a little bit. Um, I don't know what's going to be here. I say it might be because this is like the highest number of ghouls um, in one area, is my guess. Now, actually, I did actually sit down and watch uh, Resident Evil Raccoon City. Uh, sort of to get uh, understanding on how that zombie virus worked. I still don't understand it. Now, as is obviously most zombie ones, it's always a headshot is to kill them. Stop right there. So, yes, uh, that's either a really low one, but that's not... Um, that's a normal ghoul. I thought that meant uh, Resident Evil style. Now, I do believe there is a mod for that, um, that's cool, I can hear some growling, uh oh, oh my god, oh my god, <laughs> there's so many of them, oh my god, 
Um, oh my god. Okay, so apparently I've just found them. Uh, okay, that is a lot of them. I was um, sorely mistaken. Cripple a few of these. No, no, this is going to be incredibly loud, probably. Look how many, there's so many on the bus still. A male man, I like that. Let's, uh, let's leave that for a minute. So, yeah, I like that. Calm down. Um, as is... Oh, what the... Oh, another one. Oh, more. Cool, cool. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. They might be my level, but they can't do much. Okay, so it looks like all, all that's cool. So, what I'm understanding... Now, that, that is awesome, that one's got armor on. I'm just going to pause that for a moment. So, for what I... Because that's incredibly loud. So, for what I'm understanding with this is it uses, like... I think there's another mod that adds, like, the Resident Evil style already for the original mod. But, um... For what I'm understanding with these, they... The actual zombies come off of your actual, um... Level. Would be my guess. They're ones that level with you, which... I'm yet to see a glowing one. Now... Notable differences from this one to the original mod. Oh dear, was that me? I have no idea. Um, so yeah, I do remember in the original mod, you could... Oh god, there's like more spawning. Okay, yeah, we better, we better skedaddle out of here. What is going on out there? Anyway, let's let's uh let's leave here. So yeah, from the the original mod, what the? God, I'm out of stamina. I got too much stuff on me. Um, so yeah, the yeah the original mod uh was more of an infection one of essentially if you killed any enemies or any human enemies that's weren't headshots or limb shots that would blow off the limbs, they would um, come back as a zombie. Now let's have a see if we go to... I don't have it unlocked yet. We'll go for a walk over to our Concord and see if there's any spawning. But um, honestly, I kind of like this more than the, uh, the sort of original one because that I noticed... Because there's more coming. No, we've got a rad storm approaching though. Um, yeah, so the original mod would essentially... Oh, that looks... that That's actually pretty cool now. Going all dark and stuff at the moment. Oh, there's one. So yes, they scale off your own level. That looks awesome. Oh, you could never pacify them. Oh, I've just realised that. Um... Yeah, I keep getting distracted. So yeah, the original one was very much you could you could disable it, but I noticed myself using that that um, headshot only option would get even if it was by itself would end up sort of stuffing up after a while. So because I believe it was like very heavy heavily script sort of used type of thing. So that's the only problem with that. Um, with this, I one of the oh she so I haven't even. Shot another one in the head. Um, where do you go find one? 
Nice red rocket. Hopefully there should be some more there. No, we got more. We got a whole lot there. I'm yet to see a legendary one. Okay. So headshots don't appear to work. Okay, no, they apparently do in vats. And these are actually really cool. Do they have to be double tap type of thing? Okay. So, for what I'm understanding there, you've got to essentially cripple the head. Which, I'm going to test this out now. Uh, just to finish, more or less finish off this. Uh, so, that's 120. So, um... Anything higher, that's going to be better. Um... Alright, we'll try it with this. Right, so you've got to cripple the head to essentially kill them in the one shot. Now, I like that. That makes actually a lot of sense, honestly, because I, in, I suppose in terms of gameplay wise, like obviously you can't blow their limbs off unless you actually cripple the limb, which will essentially break the bone. So... My understanding of that kind of thing with how this would work is you've essentially got to use, um, well, essentially you've got to try and break through the actual skull to get to the brain to do the, the brain shot type of thing. Obviously, we've seen we can still kill them via body shots. And see, as is the original mod, ones like this would come back alive. And we could do this. So I might just, um... Okay, that is actually horrible. Although, can we actually... Hmm. Can we cripple limbs with a normal weapon? Because this thing really does not like taking damage. So, yeah. Okay, yes. We definitely can do that. So, and yes, they can be killed without a headshot. So, for what I'm, I'm understanding now, correct me if I'm wrong, and I will say, uh, sorry for having this going for so long, I didn't realise, I've just seen how long it's actually been. But, for what I understand with the, um, the Resident Evil virus is it's more of a rage virus than a zombie virus sort of thing. So, it, uh, essentially everyone's still human, it's just the, the virus, uh, mutates people and makes them essentially stronger and, um, for like, can, uh, hit harder, obviously have more health, um, but they can still be killed via normal ways. So that is my understanding with this. So, yeah, if you want a Resident Evil type of style, now, one thing I would like to kind of see is added would be oh look there's Preston right now more of the oh my god oh my god I thought Preston was killed oh there there's an idea very quickly um duh, duh, duh. can kill essential enabled can kill protected enabled can kill companions enabled right what was that? Oh my gosh, the Brotherhood coming to help me. Um, but yeah, if you're essentially one that type of style of gameplay, yes, obviously it's... It, it, I do like it in one way, probably more than the original mod. In some ways, I don't know. In, uh, as is it, uh... Okay, they're not going off the press now that I'm here. That's cool. That's cool. 
arriving at the right time. So yes, obviously we can still get all that stuff, but um, anyway. What? I'm, I'm hearing more. I don't know, I, I can literally hear more of them. Might be that one. I don't know. Anyway, um, so yeah, just to finish off, as this, I'm, I didn't, I don't, I don't know where the time's gone. Um, so yeah, so essentially to finish off, if you're wanting more of a headshot only to kill zombie, go with the original mod. If you want one that's more, as is obviously Resident Evil style, where anything, any way can kill them, but headshots will sort of insta kill them as long as you break the skull, then go with the Resident Evil one. If you want them to essentially be able to infect anything, well, any human that they kill, the original mod, unless this gets added in this, I would love to see that, because then this would actually be a lot better. Um, I know in the original is one as well, you could actually spawn them in manually, so that would also be a few things I'd like to also kind of see if they add that, that'd be awesome. But um, yeah, as this, it all depends on what type of zombie one you want. Pretty much, you want the, the classic headshot only, um, anything that gets bitten by them, or kill, or anything that dies, any human that dies turns zombie, you go with the original one. If you want the, essentially they're mutated, they're stronger, they feel faster and do more damage, and yeah, a hard to kill, that's bizarre there, uh, go with the Resident Evil one. Anyway, other than that, I do hope one has enjoyed, and uh, as is, sorry for such a long review, but yeah, it's just, it's, um, haven't done one of these for a, a, a little bit again, so. Anyway, hope everyone has enjoyed, and I shall see everybody next time.